Hello, welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got a reference book for you, and what a great reference book it is. What we've got here is Reed Air Publications uh, Modern Eagle Guide. This is the second edition. Now, some as you know, uh, I used to have the first edition, but unfortunately lost it. This is the second one that's come out now. Uh, with some great updates, some new material in it, and all those photos that I loved, okay? Now, if you haven't seen these before, we have reviewed pretty much all of these books before. One piece of advice, and I'll say it right at the beginning here, if you into your reference books, go out and buy this right now. Do not hang around, I'll tell you why. I was on the internet last night, just doing a little bit of research. This particular book here, which I paid, I think, around about $30 for, uh, back in the day, which probably would have been, I don't know, probably, uh, I don't know actually when this one came out now, uh, but a few years ago now, anyway. Uh, it's out of production. Um, it's not the thickest. It's not as thick as obviously the new ones and all the rest of it, but it's a great one. It's the Hog Guide thousand dollars on Amazon is the cheapest I could find one and it was the only one I could find as well so that's what I mean these things if you're into it you think you're going to be using it grab it because as soon as they go out of run uh, that's it so you know obviously the parasites out there will sting you a lot of money for it so what we've got here is it's a softback book Beautiful pictures, uh, which is taken by Jake Manopfi. Um, he's done a great job on this one. So, without breaking the spine, as you can see, the biggest one you get from here is an update with other squadrons, like the Japanese ones, uh, flying the F-15 and things like that. As you can see, we have absolutely stunning photos in here. A lot of these are from Jake himself. Um, and as you can see, we've got a fantastic guide showing you exactly what we're gonna get right in the book. And we just have a skim. So we got the usual thing about the um, the eagle, a little bit about its history, various things like that. And then what you do get is absolutely stunning photos right the way through. And it's nice now to see that we've got some of the foreign units as well flying the eagles, such as the Japanese and things like that. But this is really where it comes into its own. If you are ever thinking of doing that scratch building or you know, basically just doing an upgraded, perhaps using resin aftermarket, there's nothing better than some uh, little reference shots. And whilst Google, as I always say, is your friend, when you've got a book to hand, it really is fantastic. So it makes its way literally right around the entire aircraft. So down here, we're talking about the camera Canopy, the inside framing and it's showing you all the details as you can imagine all the way through the book then it's going to move on obviously into the cockpit the differences between the cockpit so down here we've got the A version versus the C version and all the different versions in between okay and all the gauges explained exactly where they are what they do okay and these great reference shots all the way over this one complete down what i love about these is the weathered look this isn't just some you know brochure type one these are actually line jets so actually you can see the grime the dust and dirt that they accumulate inside the cockpits okay and then when you're doing your weathering on your aircraft you can sort of recreate that's so all this sort of texture down here the various bits and pieces as you can see absolutely fantastic and then it will make its way around everywhere else on the aircraft. So down here, we got behind the cockpit, we've got the uh, electronics area, all the different bits and pieces. So we've got things here on the second cockpit on the two-seater versions. Okay, and then obviously we've got the E, uh, and then the E's cockpit right the way through, as you can imagine, uh, working your way around the entire aircraft. So again, it's not just about the cockpits. We've got all the structural areas. So we've got great photos, you can see down here on the seats, then working externally around the aircraft as well looking at the air brake, looking at the refueling doors, looking at this great riveting detail you can see down here. Absolutely fantastic. And what I love about these is these ones are in maintenance with the skins off, okay? So you can actually see down into the workings. Again, scratch builders, you'll absolutely love this, okay? And then right the way around, and again, it's nice to see line jets. These aren't just showbirds or, you know, brochure ones. So we can actually get an idea for weathering exactly how it should be, where they are right the way on there. And again, working around some very famous aircraft here, and all the different bits and pieces. You can see that sort of teal interior, all those areas, fod covers even, right the way through down to the guns, and working our way all the way around. Fast packs for the fuels, okay, weapons, pylons, and then in, nice to see we've got the tail markings as well. Very nice to see that as well. It's a little a part of the update to the book. We didn't get that last time. Okay, and then as I say, generally working around the entire of the aircraft beautiful internals as well so we can actually see the engines all right all the way in and then as you can see some very nice stuff with the engines out and in all the west and i'm probably only a third of the way through the book there so we're just going to skim on but as you can imagine you name it it's on here and then obviously wheel wells and all those different areas like that the gear itself uh the rails 
weapons and then as we make our way down as you can see we've actually got the weapons themselves so we're talking about amrans down there we've got sidewinders we've got the new sidewinder x as well which is nice to get some good reference shots of that right the way through it including the um uh a cmi pods are they i think they are yes the air maneuvering combat instrumentation pods i think they call them okay jdams and again very nice to see all the different ones in there so you've got your practice rounds as well as your normal and then obviously you've got the pods there the lantern system for the strike eagle okay in there and with the new sniper pod as well all right there we go fantastic okay there is other books available out there as well so if you are interested in the hornet there's one down there on the uh, the Super Hornet family. So you've got the EF uh, and the uh, G version. You've obviously got the normal Hornets as well. So you've got the sort of the Legacy Hornet and it's A, B, C, and D. The F-16 one, I think this mine sold out. Okay, so we're sold out of the Phantom one. We are sold out of this one as we know down in here. All right, but there we go. Absolutely fantastic. So we've got the actual uh, recommended retail on there. It's $40. It cost me around about $55 to get from the US. To be honest, I had it on pre-order. It turned up months ago, but I've only literally just got around to doing it. But as I said, if you are into these, this one's out of stock, uh, fortunately. So hopefully they might be doing a second one as well. But this is the same type of thing, exactly on the F-16. This one's out of hard life, because to be honest, I've used it a lot. Then obviously we've got another one down here on the Hog, which unfortunately is out of stock as well. But remember, you know, you can obviously ask the members if you're doing a big project and perhaps they share it around with you. So there we go, reference stuff I love. And I know I always say Google's your friend, and to be honest, the Halifax you can see here, exclusively I was going around Google for it uh, and getting images, but the difference is, it's World War II, it's very hard to find color clear images of what I need. So having modern aircraft though is a lot easier, especially if you've got a book like this, but it's definitely a coffee table piece as well. You can just flick through it and have a look around it just for the pictures alone. But there's some great text in there as well. So definitely a bit of a must, especially if you're an eagle, but if you absolutely love this.